More than 100 years ago, one of the greatest scientific minds in human history, Albert Einstein, gave the world a brand new understanding of the universe. Before Einstein, we thought of space as a complete vacuum, nothingness. Then, along came Einstein, who gave us the most beautiful theory of all time, the general theory of relativity. Einstein proposed that space is not empty. Instead, it is a four-dimensional fabric consisting of three space coordinates and one time coordinate. The model of this space-time fabric allowed for the calculated prediction of many phenomena in the universe, such as black holes, wormholes, and gravitational waves. In this video, we will talk about what gravitational waves are, and how the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, was established to detect them. Gravitational waves are disturbances in space-time which then propagate in all directions at the speed of light. Every object that accelerates creates gravitational waves. However, current technology is only able to measure the most powerful of these waves, which are caused by the most violent and energetic processes in the universe, such as supernovas, merging black holes and two colliding neutron stars. They are like ripples on the surface of water when a stone is thrown into it. These ripples spread out into the fabric of space-time, stretching and squeezing everything that comes in its way. The impact of gravitational waves is immense for nearby stars and galaxies. However, a distant collision affects Earth by about the width of a thousandth of a proton. Likewise, gravitational waves interact ever so weakly with matter. That is why detecting gravitational waves is really freaking hard. In 1974, astrophysicists Joe Taylor and Russell Hulse studied a pair of spinning pulsars and concluded that they were emitting energy in the form of gravitational waves. Later, in 1993, they were awarded with the Nobel Prize for this discovery. Now, with proof of their existence, it was time to try and detect and measure the waves. Pioneering on the ideas of scientists like Rainer Weiss, Kip Thorne and Barry Barish, the construction of the first gravitational wave observatory finally began in 1994. There are two separate facilities that comprise the observatory, LIGO in Livingston, Louisiana, and LIGO in Hanford, Washington. These observatories are L-shaped structures. Each L-shaped facility consists of two arms more than 3.2 kilometers long that meet at a right angle. At the end of these arms, more specifically tunnels, are two specially designed silicon mirrors that reflect lasers back and forth within them, measuring the length with astonishing accuracy. The main use of these mirrors is to absorb the least amount of energy and perfectly bounce back light. So, when a gravitational wave passes Earth, it minutely stretches one arm and compresses the other, which is measured by the interferometer. Both observatories are in two distinct areas on Earth. If a pattern of disturbance matches at both locations, a gravitational wave has been detected. The first detection was declared on September 14, 2015, and was suspected of being a false alarm for quite some time. However, after critical analysis of the data, scientists at LIGO confirmed that it was an accurate detection of a gravitational wave. Today, gravitational wave detectors can measure the merging of neutron stars and two black holes. Currently, we have detected 23 gravitational waves. 20 from merging black holes, 2 from merging neutron stars, and 1 is suspected to be the first known merger between a black hole and a neutron star. The last detection LIGO made was on April 12, 2020. Along with LIGO, there are many more gravitational wave detection observatories around the planet. Virgo in Italy, GEO 600 in Germany, and Kagura in Japan all of which work as sister companies with LIGO. In August 2011, LIGO proposed its third observatory to be made in India at a cost of 12.6 billion rupees, 
and is scheduled for completion in 2024 in the Hingalo district of Maharashtra. Now, you might want to ask, what is the benefit of spending so much money and resources on some random ripples in the cosmos? Well, gravitational waves help us gain unexpected insight into the universe. That is because gravitational waves are a new way of seeing what happens in space. Gravitational waves can also help us to untangle the many mysteries of the universe, such as the dense, dead objects known as neutron stars, and give us a solid tool to measure the Hubble constant, which tells us the rate in which the universe is expanding. Consequently, with the help of gravitational waves, we can precisely calculate our universe's date of death. So yes, funding gravitational wave observatories like LIGO is indeed worth it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for your weekly dose of dynamic science.